Hello darlings, welcome back to our channel. We're starting off today with our Punk Rarity makeup. I know it's been a while, I should have had this done sooner, but at least here it is. Gonna start off right away, we are putting on our wig caps because I have learned over so many years that if I do my wig cap after my makeup, I will royally screw something up. Whether that's smudging my lashes, getting my liner out of place, something. Going in with our base, I'm just using a regular BB cream for today since I'm just planning to do some TikToks with this look. We don't need to worry about that too much. Yes, take food break. Food is important. I forget to eat as it is. Put on some concealer because I don't sleep. Insomnia Squad, where are you? Join me in the no sleeping hell. Next up, a little bit of contour. I usually just do my cheeks and my jawline because, oof. Having that little extra pop of color down there to differentiate things and add a faux lighting effect, so good. That faux shadow helps me out a ton and I love how sculpted it makes my jawline look. Next I lay down a little bit of setting spray, let that dry. I prefer the dewy setting sprays, they just look so much nicer on my skin tone. Then I'm going in with my shadows. We start up in our crease with our mid-tone collar. You don't want to start too dark. This acts as a very good stabilizer. It lets us differentiate between the different tones we're going in for. Rarity does usually have the classic just blue liner, or just blue eyeshadow. I don't like how that looks, so I prefer to go in. I put down a little bit of the shadow first, smoke it out, then I put a little bit of a primer on top. This way I can use that smoked area as my guideline. Go in with another type of blue. Smoke it out a little bit more. You want that really nice punk smoky eye. We are a little bit glam inspired with this look still, but I like how it turns out. And yes, don't mind me, I just keep eating. Next up is a darker purple. I went for a darker purple instead of a darker blue just because it gives us a little bit more depth. Just like if you stack too many of the same color on top of itself, it does not look good. You need to break it up, add a little bit more color and dimension. I did drag out the corner of the shadow down underneath my eye just a little bit. It gives it that extra smoky hue and it does help your eyes pop a little bit more in my experience. Everyone's eye shape is different though, so if you learn something else that works for you, go for it. By all, my way of doing things is not the be all end all. Do what works for your facial shape. Next, I like to put in a little bit of a nudie color on top that's still a little bit brighter. I don't like going for super, super shiny uh, highlights on the top area of the eye. Most of the time, I don't think it looks good for me. It does not accent very well. Next is, of course, liner. I go in for a liquid one, wait for it to dry, takes so long, just sit and wait. I hate this part so much. I have royally screwed up my makeup so many times by accidentally opening my eyes. I'm sure you guys have too, like, oh my god, liquid liner is so good but so horrible at the same time. Alright, looks like we're finally dry, let's keep going. Do it on the other eye. Sister's not twin. If it ain't exact, who cares? If somebody is looking at you head on and they mention it, screw them. They do not matter, darling. All that matters is you think you look good. Next up, curl the lashes. We're putting on falsies too. Read a book while you wait. This glue always takes forever to dry. I hate it. It is so annoying. Like, why could it not go faster? And I could just get these things on. I've been hella tempted to try out those magnetic lashes, but mm, I've heard some bad reviews and I do not trust doing that stuff with my eye. Wait a thousand years again. Contemplate world domination if you're into that or just think about the next cup of tea either way wait for that stuff to dry tack it on i usually start in the middle then i go inner then i go outer it just works for me a little bit of mascara because we love how the mascara looks so good next i'm just going in with a uh, nudie lip color i think this looks very much i think next time i wear this lipstick i might play around with the lip color a little bit more I have this really cute Urban Decay purpley blue shimmer lip I might test out. 
but for now, this really helps us accent the most of the look onto our eyes. Slap on that motherfucking wig! Love this wig. You want to see how we made this entire wig? I have an entire video on that. Because, oh my god, this wig is fabulous. I love it. Oh, it was such a labor of love, but it was so worth it. Next, of course, the horn. I just shove it up into the bangs because these bangs are so fluffy and heavy that they hold everything in place for me and I don't have to worry about anything. And that is pretty much our look. Afterwards, just get on your cosplay and go out into the world. Show them how fabulous you are because, darling, you look great. Work it. And something we're starting out now is a Friday feature. This week's Friday feature is Steampunkery. She is amazing. She does a lot of steampunk inspired looks. She's currently working out V from League of Legends and a femme steampunk overhaul from, of course, My Hero. Go check her out. Show her some love. I will have links to her down in the comments. Let's support our fellow cause community. Let's grow each other. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like, leave a subscribe. I will see you darlings in the next one. Bye!